I'm trying to get my morning voice working here. <laughs> yeah, you wake up in the morning. I don't know where I got a deep voice from. It just happened. I remember when I was like 12 or 13, it was very, very deep and I'd be in class trying to joke or cheat when, hey, you got the answer to that. And of course the teacher at the very front would go, Stallone, Sylvester, not an easy name to grow with. Not an easy name to grow up with, I should say. Not easy at all. Anyway, here I am. Um, I went to the horse show yesterday in Oklahoma. It's fantastic. And it's called Raining, which is basically Western dressage. And it creates a lot of skills. You know, the melding together of a human being and a thousand pound beast together in absolute poetry. But the one thing I noticed, when you think of horse, you think, oh yeah, cowboy. These magnificent creatures, by the way, I would say they were tended to by 90% women. 90% women actually get the horse up and going. And of course the cowboy gets on and, you know, takes the glory, but behind the scenes, what makes the show go are the women. These young women who selflessly have dedicated themselves to this magnificent beast and all its glory. And I thought, boy, does that sound like life. Because a woman wakes your butt up. They, they, um, uh, um, push you. They test you. They want to know what you're made of. They want to know what you're scared of. And they're going to protect you more than the biggest gun you could ever imagine. They are the full package. They get the animal ready for the competition called life. So you really want to know who you are, you're never going to know until you have a good woman. I mean, and the thing is, I'm pretty motivated, like many men and women, motivated, but they can motivate you more different and it's a different thing than your buddy telling hey get in there man pull up your socks and knock that guy out or go for it come on let's get him different thing whole different thing they come into you through millions of years of instinctual development culturally spiritually and actual genetic development, they know how to push the maternal button. I don't give a shit how tough you are. We all need it. We need it. To be a great man, you need to be nurtured in the proper way. Reinforced, pushed, validated, loved, and also reprimanded when you're not doing what you should do. And having daughters and a wonderful wife who is incredibly independent of me, did everything on her own. And my daughters are doing the same, fantastic. I appreciate it. And then it flipped me into another mindset about praying. It's very, very important, spirituality, praying, to whatever deity you choose. And God is a very, very strong element, a cohesive element. But, but <laughs> there's always a but. You ever try praying to yourself? Ever put yourself in abeyance, not in the mirror, but go, okay. This is what I want. 
you can call it positive reinforcement. There's so many different terminologies for that, but actually look at you, request something. It, it, when you're in fear of something, I pray to you not to be afraid. I pray for you to be successful. I pray for you to have proper knowledge and sympathy for the planet in general to you, not something other, which is great. But narrowing it down to you praying to you. Hmm. I think is an interesting concept. Keep punching.